this virus has brought two things to the world. The virus is very small. The fear is very big. So it's just about looking at the situation and becoming positive in it. That's going to change everything. As you speak, I have tears in my eyes. And it's just absolutely so beautiful. Um, so the main reason why I came was I would like to address people and say, let's become positive so that we can beat this virus. It's nothing but a whole load of darkness. Let's open the light. Let's kick it out. I'm, I'm just really curious to hear her perspective about the coronavirus and what's emerging and shifting in our culture and, and where this is leading. This virus has brought two things to the world. One is people understanding themselves. They've had the time to look at themselves, analyze themselves. It's the first time, I believe, for many people in acons of years where they have had time to just sit and get to know themselves. There is no panic of rushing to the office. There is nothing happening in their lives. So I would first like to see the positive. And the positive is this is giving people time to understand who they are. They actually got time. You know, whomever you talk to, they're like, yeah, we're sitting at home. Majority of them are in lockout around the world. And uh, it's a time for self-analysis, self-understanding. If they take that journey, it's fantastic. It's a pause. If you look at it from the other point of view, what is the virus doing? What is this uh, mass death bringing to the world? Then it is also people feeling that, um, well, let's say it has unleashed a massive big fear in the world. And this fear is not a positive energy. The positive energy is self-analysis. The fear energy is, uh, is the one that's taking us down. Uh, the virus is very small. The fear is very big. Majority of the people are in so much of fear that they are bringing uh, themselves down into the darkness. Those who have taken this opportunity just to reflect upon themselves and accept the situation as it is are good. Those who are in panic, what will happen to the world, they are stuck. The fear is really spinning them to feel that they're inadequate, they have no control over things. So there's a loss of control. There's a loss of abundance because majority of the people are not getting the amount of money that they should be getting. Uh, there's, a, there's a general sense of loss which has also come in. Uh, everybody is feeling uh, powerless to do anything against this. And as the ego's greatest challenge is power. So, you know, missing out on that power is becoming big for the people, the struggle is becoming big. So this is the negative side. Now, How do you step out of and shift out of that fear? How do you let go of the ego and surrender? Well, you see, the first thing is you can't change the situation. So if you accept the situation as it is, then you don't have to think about the fear you have to be in acceptance that this is the situation of the world at the moment and I am complete and I'm okay. So if you're okay with what's happening, then your mind is at peace. Any dis-ease created in the body, be it corona, be it anything else, is coming from your mind. And your mind, when it is unrestful when it is absorbing everything around it at a very fast pace and is not at peace with itself analyzing everything because uh, it's the job of the media to keep putting fear 
you know they have to express what they are picking up from the world which is mass fear now if you can accept that that this is what the world is facing good accept it and then address yourself do you want to be in it if the answer is no then you can you know draw a circle put yourself this is the current situation where i am standing and i step out of it and i accept myself as a whole in totality and you will be able to step out of the fear so I mean, the mind frame is the world is suffering how can i be positive pillar there so the positive pillar you can be is when you stand up and say i'm going to be strong i'm going to hold the light and be holding the light is being positive amongst everything everybody that you meet if you can share some strength with them that this is a virus that is affecting those people whose minds are weak first and then whose bodies are weak now we can't assist the people whose bodies are weak but we can positively assist the people whose minds have become weak so if you put the mind strength there then it's good because nothing will affect you all you have to think is yeah i'm positive i'm invincible i'm going to do i'm going to stand here and be a pillar of strength so you shall be mm. it's what you are going to give to yourself thank you so much uh there are some some comments here hopefully um you or amanda can be seeing this um but uh, you know, people, uh, Kev said, thank you for vibrating at a high frequency. He had a comment about um, how this tribe is combating fear. Um, Can says, really beautiful, uh, uh, vibrate at the frequency of love. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for all your comments. That would, be, that would be very good if the whole group could just join in and say, we shall stand strong. Ooh, let's all type that in. Yeah. <laughs> if we, we shall stand strong. Yeah, and if we stand strong, then we will start combating the fear. We will negate the fear that has just, uh, let's say, it's just pouring down on the whole world, the fear. Because it's rising out of the people and then coming down again. So it's, it's a huge phenomena. If people stand strong, we can dissipate the fear. Mm. And that's the strength. I love that. Thank you so much. I, I have so many questions for you, but I'm going to uh, open it up to our tribe and then maybe we'll have some more time for my questions later. <laughs> Jackie had a question. Uh, Jackie, are you there? Can you put yourself on? I can. I can. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I resonate so much um, in ways I don't understand with your energy as you speak. I have tears in my eyes. It is just absolutely so beautiful. Um, I feel like you've really answered maybe my question, but my question originally was, what message would you have for you, for the children of the world? Well, the same thing, you know, you build yeah. yourself up with what your mind is thinking. If, if you can put out the positivity there, let's say for the children around you, then they will become positive. You see, it's the positivity that matters at this moment in time because everybody is just being crushed by the fear. It's immense. I mean, say I've had to take people out who've gone into like fierce anger against what's happening. You know, somebody is putting out anger towards China that they started it. Somebody is saying America started it. Somebody is saying it came from here. It came. It's so useless pondering upon those. Why not ponder upon some positive things? So the world got compromised by a virus, a darkness that has come down upon us. So instead of opening the darkness within us, let's open the light. And let's experience the light and let's send out this little beacon of light to the world so that the world can start becoming positive. And if we get a whole group of people to start feeling like that, we'll beat the virus. Because technically, its physical component is strong and its energetic component is big. So if we can delete that energetic component, it would be excellent. 
Now, the youth have more energy, more enthusiasm. They can become positive much more easily. You know, as we progress in life, we become more skeptical. We become more, we will analyze more things. But this is saying so and so this is. Uh, the younger the generation, the more you can say, but it is beautiful. This is time at home that we're going to learn things. And then the positivity will start spreading. So it's just about looking at the situation and becoming positive in it. That's going to change everything. So the main reason why I came was I would like to address people and say, let's become positive so that we can beat this virus. It's nothing but a whole load of darkness. Let's open the light. Let's kick it out. Thank you, Guruji, so much. If everyone can just take yourself off mute and send her off with some love right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank Amazing. You.